Hello everyone, it's Alanis. Sorry I didn't post a video last week. I was sick and then one of my my best friend was um, hospitalized. They're, doing, they're out now doing a little bit better and I'm doing better. So I'm going to do my video now. I was going to discuss how to um, what medicine will do, not medicine, hormones will do for a trans woman. I've been taking hormones for about three, four years now. Four years. And I uh, wanted to talk about the changes I've seen. Um, one thing to point out is that hormones will not take away anything. If you're if you have a beard, it's not going to take your beard away. It certainly won't take away your lower genitalia. And if you have hair or other parts of your body, it won't take that away. But what we can do is add. I have found that since I started to, uh, taking it, that I still grow facial hair, but I grow it a lot slower than I used to, which is good, which means I'm not having to shave every day. I'm down to one every other day sometimes once every three days. It has um, redistributed some of my fat, giving me a bit of a wider hips, and it's also given me a chest. That one, it was a hard to notice at first because um, I was, I've always had um, an upper body weight, and even when I was cosplaying as a guy I always had moves. So um, growing breasts, it um, took a while for me to notice the difference because I already had stuff down there, but eventually I noticed that they started looking different and that they've changed how they look and um, my physical reaction to them. I've also noticed some changes um, with emotions. I know it's a stereotype that women are very emotional, but I will say that once I started hormones, I was very, very emotional. And I've found I'm more emotional than I used to be, but I enjoy it. I don't feel like I'm having to hide who I am. I've also had some differences as far as um, reactions during sex. I have found that my skin's more sensitive, other parts of my body, I enjoy having people touch a lot better than I used to. There's also been a decrease in... I've heard some people say that um, when you start hormones and test anti-testosterone and estradiol for estrogen, that you might end up um, not being able to have an erection. I can still do it. It takes a while, and I have to be thinking about it. But I have noticed that at the end, there's less that is, sorry, this is a little bit graphic. There's less that comes out than there used to be, sometimes not a thing at all. And it also has changed how my body reacts to that process. I don't want to get very, very detailed because um, I don't know what YouTube standards are and I don't want to get blocked or anything. But I have found that um, the whole process of... Um, excitement to the completion is a bit different for me now and it's actually changed some of how it feels as well for me it's been a lot better um, what I'm taking is I'm taking estradiol and I'm taking spironolactone I won't give you dosages because I don't want anyone to try dosing themselves based off of what I am because I'm unique Everyone should go to a doctor, if they can, to get their own dosage adjusted with blood tests. I know that's not always possible, but I don't want to give anyone any kind of dosages and have them try to use mine and be hurt from it. But I've started um, on a smaller dose. I've lost 100 pounds, and my doctor upped my dose. And then after a month of that, they upped it again. So I'm doing well, and I like it. Sorry, this isn't a very long video. Like I said, I've been sick and I'm still getting a bit over it, but I didn't want to go another week without posting anything. I hope you all are having a good day. If you all have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me a um, message on Facebook and I'll be happy to answer them. If anyone has any suggestions for the next 
video, let me know. I'm hoping in a couple of months in the future, I have a trans man friend who's taken um, testosterone, and I want to, him to come on and say what he's going to, what he's noticed as far as changes. I can look them up and read them, but I'd rather have someone who's actually gone through them talk about it. Okay, I hope you all have a great day.